Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. Today in this video, we are going to see how to create Wix contact from HubSpot form submission. So here my objective is that whenever a new form is submitted through HubSpot, then automatically a contact should be created in my Wix account. And for that, I'm simply going to create a connection between HubSpot and Wix with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect works on two principles, first is trigger and second is action. Here my trigger application is HubSpot and my action application is Wix. To learn how to do this, let me take you to my screen. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a new contact in your Wix account whenever a form is submitted through HubSpot. And for that, I'm going to use Pabli Connect which will help me to automate this entire process. Now to begin with the process, we are first going to search for pabli.com slash connect so as we do that here we have reached the landing page of the software on my right hand side you can see two options over here sign in and sign up free if you are an existing user then simply click on sign in but if you're a new user then please click on this tab sign up free it won't take more than two minutes and yes you will also get 100 free tasks every month so i'm simply going to click on sign in as i'm an existing user and here we have reached all Pabli application page. Now let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. And if you want to create a new folder, then simply click on this icon and create a new folder. As I want to create a new folder for my new workflow, so I'm simply going to click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name the folder. So I'm going to name my folder as HubSpot to Wix. Now let's click on create. And as you can see over here, we have successfully created a folder named as HubSpot to Wix. Now again on my right hand side, you can see a tab named as Create Workflow. Let's click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name the workflow. So I am going to name my workflow as Create Wix Contact from HubSpot Form Submission. And as you can see over here, I have selected the folder named as HubSpot to Wix which I have created just now. By clicking on this drop down over here, you will find all the folders which you have created earlier. Now let's click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got us to extremely important events. First is trigger and second is action. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically, action here is the response of a trigger application. Now, my trigger application is going to be HubSpot. Now, here we have to select a trigger event. This is the event which will make your workflow start. Let's click on this. And here I'm going to select new form submission as my objective is that whenever a new form is submitted through HubSpot, then automatically a contact would be created in my Wix account. And here Public Connect has provided us the webhook URL which will act as a bridge between Public Connect and HubSpot. And given below here are the steps to set up this webhook URL. Now the first point says login into your HubSpot account, navigate to automations and then go to workflows. Let me take you to my HubSpot account as I've already logged in. And here we have to go to automations and in automations we have to go to workflows. And here in workflows, click on this create workflow in the top right corner. And after that, select from scratch. And then select this blank workflow and then contact paste. And then click on next. Now firstly, I'm going to name this workflow as HubSpot form. After that, click on save. After that, I'm going to click on the setup triggers. And after that, we have to choose our trigger. For that, I'm going to select when an event occurs. And here in this, I'm going to search for form submission. After that, click on save. And here we have successfully set up our trigger. And now to set up our action, click on this plus icon over here. And after that, search for send a webhook. Select this. So I'm going to select the method as post. And here we have to enter the webhook URL, which we already have in our Public Connect account. So I'm going to copy this webhook URL from here. And after that, I'm going to enter this webhook URL in my HubSpot account. And after that, click on save. And we have successfully set up our trigger and actions. After that, click on review and publish in the top right corner and turn on this workflow. And now it says workflow is on. So now let's submit the form. Click on back to workflows. Now go to marketing. And here in marketing, go to lead capture and then forms. And I have created the form named as new registration form. After that, I'm going to click on action and then click on view. Then go to view form. 
and this is the form which i have created now i'm simply going to enter all the dummy details over here after that click on submit and here it says thanks for submitting the form which means we have successfully submitted our form let's go to our public connect account and check whether we have received our response or not and as you can see over here we have successfully received our response with the details which we have entered while submitting the form which means we have successfully set up a trigger application now my action application is going to be wix and here we have to select an action event let's click on this and here i'm going to select create contact as i want to create a contact in my wix account whenever a form is submitted through upspot after that click on connect and now to connect our wix account with our public connect account we need to set up a connection for that i'm simply going to select add new connection but if you have an existing connection please select existing connection after that click on connect with wix now to add a new connection we are required to enter app id and app secret id and here it says enter app id and app secret id from your wix developer app you can create your wix developer app as explained here let's click on this and here are all the instructions given to set up our wix account with our public connect account and the first point says login to wix developer center let's click on this and after that click on create new app button let's click on this and then go to build from scratch and now i'm firstly going to rename this as testing and after that i'm going to click on auth and here in app keys you will find app id and app secret key so i'm firstly going to copy this app id and app secret key from here and after that i'm going to paste it here in my public connect account after that we have to enter app url and redirect url here and we will find these in wix developer application which is this so i'm going to copy this from here and after that i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to do the same with this redirect url after that click on save and it says your changes were successfully saved now go to permissions in the left corner and in permissions go to add permissions and then select filter by category and here in categories i am going to select contacts and members as i want to create a new contact and after that i am going to select all the permissions and then click on save now let's go back to our public connect account now click on save over here and now it says adding testing will allow it to so i'm going to click on agree and add and we have successfully connected our wix account with our public connect account and here we have to enter first name last name email address which are the required fields and for that i'm going to use a method called as mapping basically mapping means to insert the data from the previous steps so let's click on this and i'm going to map the first name from hubspot and the first name is current and the last name is user and the email address is current user at the rate pablitudes.com and the phone number is this and now the country code address line subdivision address city country company job title birth date label keys are not required so i'm leaving it empty over here but if you want to enter all these details so you can do that after that let's click on save and send this request and now as you can see over here we have received a positive response and here in contact last activity type it says contact created so now let's go to our wix account and check whether we have created a new contact or not so as you can see over here we have successfully created a contact named as current user with the email address current user at the rate pablitudes.com and the phone number is this which means we have successfully connected our hubspot account with our wix account so now let's go to our public connect account we have successfully set up our trigger and action application and it was a successful workflow so let's summarize this quickly here my trigger application is hubspot crm and my trigger event is new form submission here my action application is wix and my action event is create contact and if you also want to create a new contact in your wix account whenever a new form submission is made through hubspot then simply follow this two step workflow hope this video was a helpful one thanks for watching
not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt then you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any query then you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. If you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to us at this website and if you find this video helpful in any way then do not forget to share it with your friends and please subscribe to our channel to learn more such automations.